TJ Dill, Shaw calls UFC Bandwidth champion Peter Yan, the interim title holder, and he wants a title shot right away when he returns to action next year. Yan responded to him by saying, wait in line, cheater. TJ's two-year suspension for EPO ends on January 19th. Number one, Ryan Bantamweight Aljamain Sterling isn't happy about TJ trying to cut in line in front of him for a title shot. He was scheduled to fight Yan for the belt on December 12th, but it's supposed to be rescheduled. Sterling talking about TJ and the sport in general says, is MMA the only sport where cheaters get rewarded after time served? Seriously, I'm wondering about this. Imagine going to jail for assaulting someone, doing X amount of years, coming out, and then the warden hooks you up with a chance to make a half a million plus as soon as you walk out? Wow. A couple other guys that TJ could fight are Corey Sandhagen and Marlon Moraes who are ranked number two and number three in the division. Yair Rodriguez recently got a six-month suspension by USADA for three whereabouts failures in a year, and since he's out till March, the Korean zombie wants to fight Zabit. That would be a pretty fun fight to watch. Demetrius Johnson fighting for the one championship flyweight belt versus Adriano Moraes February 24th. DJ's current record in one championship, three wins and no losses. Julian Marquez versus Maki Patolo February 13th. Marquez was supposed to take on Soperbeg Safarov last month, but Safarov's weight cutting issues canceled the fight. OSP missed weight for his fight with Jamal Hill on Saturday night. OSP came in at 207.5 pounds. Jamal came in at 205.5. Framer's daughter Bellamer fighting for the second time on December 11th in the Icon promotion. And Davison Figueredo's brother Francisco makes his UFC debut January 20th versus Jerome Rivera. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to keep up with everything Mixed Martial Arts.